Dear students, welcome to Naresh IT. Today, I just want to discuss the second type of question which is available in percentages. In the first type of question, we went with the discussion of the questions which are related to numerical ability. In this type of question, we will have a discussion on the questions, how can we solve the unitary based questions. So, I just collected some of the questions which are given in the previous I said paper. So, have a glance how to proceed with the solvation of the questions which are based on the unitary method. Let me look at the question number 1. So, if you look at the question number 1, the rate of income tax is reduced from 1200 of percentage to 16 percentage. If a person taxable amount is 2,40,000 rupees, then what is the tax benefit in rupees? So, it was very clear that there was 16 percentage was a tax, but that 16 percentage tax is reduced to 12.5 percentage. That means, what is the reduced value? Can I say the reduced value will be equal to 3.5 percentage, 16 minus 12.5. So, if the total taxable amount is equal to 2,40,000 rupees, they are expecting you to find out what is the tax benefit because of that. So, it was very clear. Let me take the question on the screen. It was very clear there is a reduction in the tax. What is the reduction in the tax? Initially, 16 percentage was the tax. Now, you are only paying 12.5 percentage. What is the reduction? We can able to see reduced tax will be 3.5 percentage of the total tax. What is the total tax? 2,40,000. So, 3.5 percentage of 2,40,000 if you can calculate that will be your answer choice. So, 3.5 percentage of this. So, percentage and two zeros will get cancelled. So, 3.5 let me write it as 35 and 10 35 by 10. So, 10 will be get cancelled with the 10 and this is going to be 240. So, solving this will give you your answer choice. So, you can just need to find out what is the product of 35 into 24. I am trying to discuss a very speed math technique to proceed whenever you want to find out the product of numbers, especially two digit number with the two digit number. Just use a very simple logic of IXI in finding the product of the numbers faster. What is IXI? I is nothing but the product of your unit digits that is nothing but 5 into 4 is equal to 20. Make a slash for the convenience. 3 into 4 is equal to 12, 5 into 2 is 10, this is the meaning of x, 3 into 4, find the product of unit and tens rate, unit and tens rate summation, 3 into 4 is 12, 5 into 2 is 10, 12 plus 10 is giving a result as 22, take the value as 22 and i is indicating the product of your tens rates, 3 into 2 is 6, how to get the answer, take a last digit in each and every space, send the remaining thing as carry, 22 plus 2 is 24, take last date as 4, send 2 as carry. So, 840, add one more zero in the resultant. So, 8400 is answer choice, mark it as the answer choice. So, you just need to calculate what is 3.5 percentage of 240, 3.5 percentage of 240,000. I hope it is clear. Let us move on to the next question, which is based on the unitary method. Look at the question number 2. In a face to face election, the winner got 65 percentage of the votes and he won with a majority of 12 thousand votes, what is the number of votes polled in terms of lakhs? So, I said is always going to play with the zeros, please be take care with this kind of questions. They have given the information in the form of a thousand and you will get an answer in the form of a thousand, but they are asking the answer in the form of a lakhs. Please be careful when you are solving this type of questions with zeros, decimal conversion to the fraction and fraction conversion to the decimal and integer. So, you need to find out this value in terms of a lakhs. So, how to tackle this question? Just have a glance. Let me take the question on the screen. So, in a face to face election, in a face to face election, winner got 65 percentage of the votes. So, winner got 65 percentage of the votes. That means, it was very clear that if winner is getting 65 percentage of the votes, how much loser will get? Loser will be definitely getting 35 percentage because the total number of votes polled is always equal to 100 percentage. If one person got 65, the other person will get 35. What is the difference in the percentages? Please observe 65 to 35, I am able to see there is a difference of 30 percentage. So, 30 percentage is the total majority votes which is received by the winner. So, winner is getting 30 percentage of the votes extra and he won in the election with 12,000 votes. That means, whatever the extra votes received by him that is given as 12,000 for us. So, in this unitary method what we need to do is 
connect the number with the equivalent percentage, observe your required quantity in terms of percentage, get in the form of a number. That is what you have to do here. 30 percentage of the votes is equal to 12,000. You just need to find out the total votes. That means 100 percentage of the votes will be equal to how much is the question. So, in order to solve this, 100 divided by 30, 100 divided by 30 into 12,000, 100 divided by 30 into 12,000. So, 0, 0 is gets cancelled, 3 ones are, 3 fours are. So, 400 into 100 that is giving a result as 400 into 100, it is going to be your answer choice. So, 40,000 is given in the form of a thousands, but the answer choice they are asking in the form of a lakhs. So, 40,000, if I can I write 40,000 as like this, 40,000, I am just multiplying with 10 and dividing with 10. Then 40,000 into 10 is nothing but 4 lakhs, 4 lakhs divided by 10, this is going to be in terms of lakhs. What is 4 by 10? 0 0.4. Mark your answer choice as option B, 0 0.4 lakhs. Look at the next question, question number 3. In a library, 23 percentage of the books are arts and 30 percentage are in commerce and 35 percentage are in science and the rest of the books are Telugu language books. If there are 1440 Telugu language books available, what is the number of books in arts is a question. Again, the question is related to comparison or unitary. Let us take the question on the screen. So, the question is talking about 23 percentage of the books is related to arts. So, 23 percentage of the books are related to arts. That means that we can comfortably say 23 percentage are arts and 30 percentage are commerce and 35 percentage are science and rest of the books are Telugu language. What is the total number of books? I am assuming that the total number of books is 100 percentage, 23 percentage arts, 30 percentage commerce, 35 percentage is going to be science. What is the sum of this? It is giving a result as 88 percentage of the books. So, what is the leftover books? 12 percentage of the books. This 12 percentage of the books are related to Telugu. So, as per the data, he said that the total number of Telugu books is going to be 1440. That means, by observing this data, I can say 12 percentage of the books are leftover. This 12 percentage of the leftover books are going to be Telugu. That means, 12 percentage of the books is equal to 1440. What is the number of books for arts? Arts, we are able to see 30 percentage. If 12 percentage of the books are going to be 1440, 30 percentage of the books is equal to how much? So, we can simply go with the calculation 30 by 12, 30 by 12 into 1440. So, using this 12 ones are 12 12s are 144, 12 into 3 36, add two more zeros, mark your answer choice as option C. I hope you are able to understand how to apply unitary method by connecting a number with the percentage and observing your required quantity. Use the similar kind of logic in solving the questions which are based on the unitary method. So, I just giving some of the practice questions. Please look at the questions and try to answer the questions in the comment box. So, in an election between the two candidates, winner secured 58 percentage of the total votes and cast wins by a majority with uh, 2400 votes. How many votes did the loser got? Observe what is required quantity and solve. Look at the next question on the screen. A student has secured 40 percentage of the marks to pass in the exam. He secured 75 marks and was declared as failed because of 45 marks less. Find the maximum score in the exam. Look at the question number 3. Hari spends 20 percentage of his monthly income on house rent, 25 percentage on food and 10 percentage on transportation and 15 percentage on the education of his children, 18 percentage of household expenses and he saves the remaining of 4800. What is the monthly salary of Hari? That is a question. So, solve these three practice questions and keep your answer choices in the comment box. Thank you so much and do not forget to like and share and subscribe our channel.